Well, with the problems with all the Tesla Model S firmware that uh, with the sleep mode and vampire losses, it was a rough recommendation of somebody to try putting a battery tender slash float charger on the 12 volt auxiliary battery on the car. Since the power drains are for the most part coming from the center console, which runs off the 12 volt auxiliary battery, 12 volt auxiliary battery is charged by your main battery pack um, and is not charged off of shore power. So, um, I'm going to turn around the Tesla. Usually I park it back it in as my charger is on the other side, so I might have to break out my 220 charging cord um, or extension cord, but I did not want to leave the nose cone off facing the street in case somebody goes walking by and decides to go stealing something or breaking something. I'd rather have that butt up against my, uh, my driveway. So, uh, I'm going to go. It's rather cold out. It's about 40. at 22 degrees out. So I'm just going to turn the car, car around a little bit here. All right, so we got that turned around. Going to pop that nose cone off now. Too much practice at this. Never got stranded, but I experiment and I have fun. Yes, I do know I'm outside 22 degree weather with shorts, boots, and a t-shirt on. Uh, yes, I am that nuts. And no, I'm not cold. The car is royally frosted. Look at the headlights. Holy moly. <laughs> it's almost snow. I'm going to put the nose cone in the front for the night. Now, let's see here. I'm actually going to take the uh, battery tender off the uh, 12 volt auxiliary battery on my electric Alfa Romeo that I built, uh, which really needs to get sold. If anybody's looking for an electric Alfa Romeo, uh, it's a complete car. 4,500 bucks takes it, and I have had it up to over 80 miles an hour. Anyways, back to the uh, the Tesla move the camera a little bit. I'm just going to zoom in. Uh, right there is, uh, you can see the red battery post. Stay in the garage. I'm just going to let the cord go under the door. 
and see if my UMC will reach, which I don't. Not by a long shot. So that's what we got here. Put that down, go for the camera. Put 1450 extension cord, technically illegal. It's actually over beefed up. There we go. But I do stuff, I do it right. Hope nobody comes home and cheers the uh, UMC right out of the charging port. And just because I'm uncomfortable with extension cords, uh, let's see if I back this up a little bit here. I'm uncomfortable with extension cords. And drawing lots of power through, even though I hope built the cord. And lock the doors. And there we have it. Let's unscrew this thing here. There we go. Man, I love this camera. It's awesome. So, yeah, anyways, uh, there's... Uh, I now, I think, officially named my car the Enterprise. Goes like a spaceship. Sounds like a spaceship. I even have the Enterprise Bridge recording and for the stereo system. Anyways, um, all right. So the name of the game. Uh, I got battery tender or ba uh, battery float charger plugged in here. Um, you know, automatically maintain the voltage in a battery. Uh, hopefully, that will take the load off of the uh, onboard DC to DC converter that charges the battery uh, off the main battery pack. Uh, UMC is right down there. Um, car is now currently charging on the 240 volt line. Um, I have turned the amperage down to 35 instead of 40. I know just to be on the safe side, I just get nervous around extension cords. Uh, at least high amperage ones. Have had seen a few accidents at uh, industrial factories and whatnot. Um, 110, 120, who, who that cares? A trip to breaker. But uh don't feel like turning my house into a toaster. And uh, there we go. Um, I'll be keeping an eye on when the charge completes. Oh, let's get a rough look at that. Get a rough idea. Um, five hours at the 35 amps. And that, we're going to a standard charge. Um, I will make note of what the mileage is when the standard charge is complete. Um, and then I will see what the losses are in the morning when I come out to leave. Can't get much better than that, guys. Um, I guess this will be, uh, I'll make this a two-part video. I'm getting pretty good at splicing the videos together. So, uh, something I never really knew how to do in the past. Um, there's something else. Oh, did you guys know that the uh, Model S has actually has two horns? Yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm going to replace them there. I'm going to put a diesel locomotive horn on the thing. That should really kill my 12-volt battery, but 
It's going to sound so freaking cool. So, all right, see you guys in the morning. I just left my driveway. Last night I did the experiment. I tried hooking up a battery float charger to uh, the 12 volt auxiliary battery. Uh, and you know what, I forgot to put the nose cone back on. Oops. Uh, anyways, uh, the idea was, I was hoping that um, that might curve the uh, vampire losses on 5.8 firmware. Uh, did not. Uh, between uh, between uh, let's see, it was um, oh man, I forgot the time now. I think it was 1 a.m. I had it written down. I started with I believe I forgot my paper at home. It was a little late getting getting out the door to get the guys to school here. Vinny and Gene, everybody knows these these two little midgets. Um, I believe it was 175 I started with at 1 a.m. And at by noon, it's now noon almost exactly, uh, I'm down to 166. No driving, no heat, nothing. And uh, actually I've been on 166 since I left the house. School's only a couple blocks away. Yeah, we're here already. Um, and I started the video when I left my driveway, so as you can see, school's rather close. Uh, less than maybe a quarter, not even a quarter mile. Um, 166, so uh, nine miles lost in 11 hours of sitting. Unacceptable, my acceleration's also had been decreased. Uh, a number of people have noted that. Uh, now I'm really getting a nasty problem where I get in the car it says keys not in vehicle. I had it happen maybe twice before on 4.5. Happened almost daily on 5.6 and almost daily on 5.8 now. And it's getting really annoying. That's why I'm late getting these guys to school. It's because keys not in car. I tried both my keys. Had to get out, enter the vehicle numerous times. Probably about seven or eight times before it worked. And that's it. I gotta go because I gotta get these guys into school.